Give us the hope and prayer. Can we stand up and make reverence to God? Our Father and our Lord, we thank you for this wonderful moment because you are the Lord with awesome power. We commit to this event unto your capable hand. Take preeminence in Jesus' name. 
We thank you for the life of our governor, the cabinet, and all the, the local government and cabinet as well, and on the life of everybody present here today. Father, take glory in Jesus' name. As we proceed with today's event, let everything be under control. And at the end of the day, let us have every cause to glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And everyone of us to this year, Lagos State Year, 2013 Tree Planting Campaign Day. And the theme is green, is peace. Before we continue, I would like to do the introduction of all our dignitaries on the high table. I would like to start from the representative of the Commissioner for Environment, person of Mr. Ojela de Adesoji. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I would like to re recognize the presence of our own executive chairman of our Award of Hin Local Government, Comrade Ayodele Adewali. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. We have the vice chairman in our midst, Alaja Kudrat Omalara Dada. You're welcome, ma'am. I want to recognize the presence of the councillor of Councillor Wasiu Belu, he is the leader of the house. And through him, I also welcome all other councillors present. Thank you, sir. I want to recognize the presence of Honorable Folashade Ajao. She is the SLG of Amu World of Hin Local Government. Through her, I also recognize all supervisors seated here right now. I would like to recognize the presence of the council manager, Mr. Shegmo Ajayi. You're very much welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. We have the Apex leader, and he is also the former House of Assembly leader, Right Honorable Abayomi Kiyomi. He is the speaker, the former speaker, House of Assembly, Lagos State. Thank you, sir. We have we have Ms. Nicola on, how would you? She, she, she is from Climate Change and I'm one of me, local government. Thank you. Yes, I have Prince Adele Anne Adeneji Adele, one of our leaders, apex leaders in our world of me, local government. I have Alhaji Oseni. Alhaji Oseni, you're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir, for coming. I have Prince A.K.A. Dosumo, is the CDC chairman, I'm one of me, local government. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. I have Comrade Jola Okunlusi, FTRA President, Estat Town. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I have the honor to recognize the presence of Rotarian Rotemi Williams in our midst. You're welcome, sir. Also, I have, I want to recognize Reverend Okunpo Wale. He is the Secretary of uh, ACN LGA, I'm Ward of Queen Local Government. I also want to recognize all LGA schools in our midst today. Thank you all for coming. I want to recognize all what chairmen seated in our midst today. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. I have the representative of Oba Aladu, Otuba Raimi Laval. Thank you, sir. You're very much welcome. I have the Seriki Al Sawa of Amu World of Me in our midst, Alaji Abdullahi Jagaba. You're welcome, sir. I want to recognize everybody here present in our midst. We hope, I want to hope that we'll have a joyful day in our midst today. Before we continue, I want to recognize the presence of Chief Obo in our midst. Chief Obo, you're welcome, sir. Chief Obo, you're very much welcome. I have the Iyaloja and the Babao Loja General in. Right now, we want to listen to the welcome address by the Executive Chairman of our board of the local government, Comrade Ayodele Adewale. Please, before we uh, vulcanize the association to come uh, behind the podium here, please, as well as members of the group. I guess people are looking at what we're doing, but by the time we finish, you get to understand it very, very well. The, the representative of the Honorable Commissioner here seated, the Vice Chairman of the local government, the leader of the Legislative Council, members of the Executive Council, members of our Parliament, our political leaders, particularly the former Speaker of Lagos State, 
right honorable Abayo Mukiyomi. Our political leaders here gathered. We greet you, starting from the vice chairman of our party, the Action Congress of Nigeria. Democracy for justice. Democracy for justice. Yes, yeah. And of course, not to forget our community leaders, our market men and women. Bobo Ba. Bobo Ba. Bobo Ba. And of course, our nationality leaders. South, South. South, South. Yeah. Yeah. And of course our northern people. Anga Sheka. Mugodeala. And not to forget all members of staff, particularly the council manager manager and his team. And of course, all our distinguished guests here gathered. It's a very long, long protocol, but I don't intend to offend anyone, so I'll just say all protocol are duly observed. Well, we have decided to use this fashion in the sense that our environment is threatened. And of course, with the theme of this year's environmental, what a one tree planting day is the environment and peace. But of course, we also chose this venue. I'll go to the literature very soon. We chose this venue because we note that we lack a lot of recreational space or playground as you simply understand it. And of course, as you are here seated, you can enjoy the cool breeze. In fact, even for the rain, I have said that we have no canopy. We are going to be under the tree, just as we used to do in those days of old. Our mothers and fathers remember when you were still in the village, how you sit under the tree in the evening, and of course during the scorch sun, and how the tree has helped to prevent the ray of the sun from touching you or harming you, and how the tree has captured wind that are, of course, giving you pleasure. And that is why we chose this place, particularly this area with lovely ambience. And you're feeling a very lovely cool breeze. And of course, you know the tree gives out oxygen and takes in carbon dioxide and it helps to replenish our atmosphere. But I particularly chose this people. You see, Nata, Organizer, they are a very lovely, lovely partner in the society. Small scale businesses. But again, you see them littering the whole place, and if it's not well controlled, it becomes very harmful to the environment. They dump tires everywhere, dump tubes everywhere, they deface the environment, and of course, plunge the value of properties, if not well managed. And of course, we see our market heads, go, go, go. They are very beautiful people. But if they are not well controlled or again, you see people not wanting to trade in the marketplace. And the residual thing that follows it is that garbage will be thrown all around. Some of this garbage also block our drains that in turn cause flood if the water does not find its way. And that is why we have brought them all here. They are key partners in society building. And if we don't carry them along, society will collapse. God forbid. And of course, our new partners that we have come to live with, we don't intend to drive them. The Nigeria economy is very worrisome, particularly when the centers fail. These are new partners. They are the car dealers. You don't find them everywhere. They cannot put car there. Before you know, they put cars here and turn it to parking lots. 
they destroy our kids, they create insecurity. Some of them, they use their environment, some of these cars, to hide weaponry, hard drugs, and so many things. But again, we need to carry them along. That is why we have brought them here. And we have made provisions for them. We've had several meetings with them. We have organized them. We have also helped them to form a union. And we believe that that union will have a tax force that will go after their kind. Because if we don't control them and we don't tidy them up, they are going to send all of us out of this place. First time Amu has been created very wonderfully well. But areas where they trade is a danger to our collective state here. And we have our men here, the Green Club, that have been working every day in the last over four years getting to five. It will be five years, October the 30th this year, since we have established them. And they've been working. They've planted over 5,000 trees. Not just planting the trees, they've been nurturing the trees. For us, a single palm that you see there, in value, is more than 100,000. And you ask me how, why? For each of them, we pay 20,000. Each of them. At least four of them take care of one tree or the other every day. We also buy manure. Now think of it. About 30 of them, no, 50 of them, times 20, times 12. You understand? Who can just quickly do that math? 20,000 times 50 times 12. Huh? 12 million. Huh? 12 million. That means per year, for Green Club alone, we spend 12 million. That means when you kill one tree, of course you know how I feel and how they will feel when you kill just one that we are planted. Apart from the 12 million, we can see him following one way, we will arrest you if you try it, sir. If you try it, we will arrest you. If you try it, we will arrest you. It will cause an accident and they will say it is the devil. That's the root cause of many of our problems. If he argues too much, he found that car. I give it to last man. And he will not see the car again. Pastor has been planned very well. It's a matter of patience. Nothing will kill him for driving through the service way and turning there and going to where he's going. As we were saying, we have been investing too much in our environment. And these are the dangers that we have. The dangers. And they are the collaborators for a good environment. I chose the Yaoja and Babaoja, not that they sell on the road. They have market, they sell in the market, but I use them as a face to depict those people who trade on our roads, who trade on the walkway who trade on the bicycle way. Not that they are involved, they are not involved. But when we talk about market, we readily remember them. We are not people who try to point at a problem without putting a face to it. They will not use you as a bad example. But I need to use you to show people that if you do things very well, then the society will take care of you. But the major people, or the major problem that we have here, that you know, headache, is a pity that Nata is not here. Do we have Nata here? Nata, where are they? Come, come, come. Those are one headache we have in the environment. Come, you have one uniform. The mechanics, you also see them, they will just wake up one day, just take a place, that is not authorized and start defacing it. And you forget that in physical planning, things have been planned appropriately well. A lot of them 
you ask them the oil they take out from the vehicles where did they pour them or where did they dispose of of it how did they dispose of it let's just quickly ask you that oil that you move from the vehicle how do you dispose of it today is practical he said they will dig the ground and they'll put the oil. Logically for him is good. Because he has not been schooled about the danger in it. Now when you keep pouring the oil into the soil, there is something called groundwater. If that oil finds its way to the groundwater, it poisons the groundwater. And that groundwater through your borehole, you suck it out and you drink it. Some of them will pour the oil into the canal. And when you do that, you also poison the water and you kill the aquatic animals. All the aquatic life, plants, everything, you kill it. And if you don't kill it on time, across there, you see those plants, they sell fish in the evening. You are also going to eat it. And you start poisoning your system. So I have to demonstrate all this thing practically. So that when you see our tax force outside telling you leave this place, move to this place, you will tend to understand the danger in it. But for every one of them that are standing here, they have been working with the local government very, very well to the extent that our local government is one of the most tidiest and cleanest in Nigeria, not just in the United States. I want to thank you for your partnership and God will continue to strengthen you. We cannot do it without them. Government must have a human face. And this is the government. I am the government. We are the government. Without them, we can't be. Our being in government is from the sovereignty that they give to us, the legitimacy of office. That is why we go through the voting system. If you don't vote, I can't be here. So I am your representative. And before I came to be, I brought a program to you. And we said we would do this, do this, do this, and do that. And you asked that if you come in, are you going to do this, do this, and do that? And we said yes. So why is it very difficult to carry out what you have asked for? Why is it so difficult? So these are the generals of our environment. I am the field marshal, the general Lucimo, but these are the captains, they are the lieutenants, they are the generals, Call it what you want to call it. But the apex is the Lucimo. Abi? Yes. Fine. Without them, there is no me. Yes. And without me as the apex, society will collapse. So it's a chain reaction. We go to the text. We begin to see, therefore, the importance of selecting our environment with the greatest of care. Because the environment is the mental feeding ground out of which the food that goes into our mind is extracted. So says Napoleon here. Distinguished, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this Lagos State 6th Annual Tree Planting Day exercise with the theme, Green is Peace. The recent prominence of environmental issues in major world discussion clearly shows that concerted efforts are needed to urgently save the environment from the urgent, from the agent of degradation. I want to specifically welcome His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babatun Jiragi Fashola SAN, ably represented, who is the chief driver of today's event. The concerted effort put into our environment regeneration through the tree planting in the last year are evident in the various projects and policy implementation concerning our environment. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may have been aware, the theme of this year's tree planting day is Green Peace. 
It is another call for us to conserve our trees as they remain the source of healthy living and longevity. Trees are known to be very useful in reducing carbon dioxide, a major contributor to greenhouse gases and the replenishing the air with oxygen. Apart from this, trees improve the aesthetic value of the environment. They also provide shields, prevent erosion, help minimize flooding, and act as windbreakers, thereby protecting us from the diverse effect of windstorm and hazard nature. It is interesting to note that despite the importance of tree planting to the environment, we are now confronted with the, with the adverse effect of man's unconscious battle against nature, which has caused untold hardship over the years globally. Man is gradually failing from nature's favor, hence the urgent need to retrace our steps. It is of utmost importance that only must we immediately put a stop to indiscriminate felling of trees. We have a duty to preserve nature by planting more trees so that the next generation can get wood for homes, schools, hospitals, furniture, books, and so much more. We simply cannot consume and refuse to produce. You will recall that this present administration took the decision, decisive step to protect the environment by planting over 5,000 trees of various species within the community, and we shall continue to do everything within our ambit of the law to protect it. For this season, we have commenced the planting of over 1,000 trees, known as thick trees, across the local government. We shall continue to work assiduously to protect the present and future generation from the scourge of global warming and climate change. Let me also state here that the local government has concluded plans to develop this site to a model garden and it will be named 12 Road Garden. The garden will have lights, seats and other recreational facilities. This is in line with what the state government has done at Oshodi, Ijora, Ojodu, Dolphin Estates, among others. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I charge you all of you to present, present here today to join hands in the protection of existing trees and in planting trees at every given opportunity. Let us make tree planting a cardinal part of our culture by becoming faithful ambassadors of tree planting. Permit me to introduce to this gathering an additional hand in climate change advocacy to our climate change unit. She is a first class graduate of geography from the prestigious Oxford University, UK, and a master of science degree from Penn State University, USA. I introduce to you Mrs. Nisia Hunt Awoju, a British Nigerian who is going to add more value to our work on climate change. Could you please join us? Judging from her contribution in the United Kingdom, and we believe that such experience will be beneficiary to the local government. Let us also not forget that Amu Adofi environment is our common wealth. Let's protect it. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Distinguished, as we wind up this year very soon, we thank God that we have a geographer in our midst now, and a seasoned one, very eloquent, well-schooled, well-studied. The meteorologists have told us that we are going to have high volume of rainfall. But we want to thank God that we have seen near flooding here, almost zero flooding in the local government. And this is born out of the fact that we are very proactive. And I want to thank the head of the Climate Change Unit, Mr. Kamoru Dinogubadejo, if you please join us here. They've been carrying out a lot of studies in our environment. They've been doing a lot for making sure that we have zero flooding here. Because from their work that is passed to me as memo, I also use that to plan ahead. I also thank all of our brothers who have been helping to deceive our drainages. I particularly thank Mr. Yekin. He has been up and doing, and several people have been served notice of abatement. 
notice of removal, X, Y, Z, though we have not taken a lot of people to court. But we intend to. But don't push us to. It is not our own function to wanting to do that as a human being, having a face. But again, if you push us to, definitely we have to for our common good. And I thank all our Green Club members here. They've been working very, very hard to make sure that our environment is kept clean. I thank the council manager that have been holding very strongly his team for making sure that they give us value for money. I thank all our community leaders through the CDC chairman that have been having periodic meetings, not to forget the resident association. They've also been meeting with their members, though many of their members have refused to plug in to this vision, and many of them don't attend resident meetings, particularly during environmental sanitation exercise. We must come together to save our environment. We must come together to protect our environment so that our environment will protect us. But this is the team that is working very, very hard to make sure that our environment is sustained. I will not also forget to thank the Super for Environment, Mr. Damole, he too should join us. He also, with it in own limitation, have been working very, very hard. Been working very, very hard for making sure that the environment is, is also kept tidy. It's not very easy. It's not very easy when you have an environment that has over 1.5 million people in population. And it's so big that we have the riverine communities too that has over 30 communities there. And of course, the first stack area is very big. The Maitu enclave is very big. But we are not afraid of governing our space, knowing fully well that the easiest way to govern is when you engage your people. And in engaging the people, the people will also make us very proud of them. So these are the people that are working your environment. Please cooperate with them so that God will protect us all. We thank you. Thank you very much. Please once again let's give a big applause to the executive chairman of our board of the local government, Samuel Ayo, the day and the for that go up and pray. In his address, he was able to tell her to serve our trees as they remain the sources of elder living and longevity. Eladi Adisoji, the representative of Honorable Commissioner of Environment, for his opening remark. Please let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. Governor, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Raji Babatunde Fashola, Sam, the ably represented the Honorable Chairman Amu of Local Government, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, and the Honorable distinguished ladies and gentlemen. So let me start with the. Um, the, the speech. I stand here today with great joy as I welcome this garden to Lagos the sixth annual tree planting exercise with the team Green is Peace. The initiative that was formally launched in 2000 was a great child of His Excellency and committed advocate of healthy environment, Mr. Raji Babati, Babati Raji Fashola, son. The tree planting exercise, the policy has helped in reducing carbon and other pollution from the atmosphere. So far, our tree planting idea has laudably helped in furthering this administration green revolution campaign, geared towards mitigating the challenging issue of global warming and climate change. With all the sense of modesty, may I humbly affirm that our administration has made vital progress in this regard. Permit me to state boldly that Lagos State is, a, is effectively combating the menace of erosion and other ecological problems. One of the remedies we have admirably deployed is the tree planting. The more tree we plant, the more we reclaim our forest, beautify our environments, surrounding our surrounding and environments. Three, at majority, act as shelter for rare and endangered animals. They act as storm wind and storm through windbreak and also as deflector of sun rays and other adverse weather. Trees serve as a breeding ground for some animal and equally help to check erosion as well as 
supply food and material for building houses. Nursing are also produced from stem leaves of some plants. So far, Governor Rajifashola government in six years has successfully planted no less than 4.6 million trees, and more are still as a matter of routine being planted on a yearly basis. Let me proudly state before this congregation that our government only, not only engages in the symbolic annual ritual, but has also put in place institutional structure to ensure that the achievements of the past are ingrained in the system. The Excellency, for continuity's sake, has graciously approved the establishment of Lagos State Park and Guiding Agency, LASPA, to advance the cause of sustainable environment and further seek to the improvement in the state's environmental aesthetic through numerous landmark beautification and landscaping projects. These environments, environment landmarks, now fully managed by LASPA, have made our state the positive envy of other states in the federation. LASPA, as a full autonomous agency, Become operational, become operational last year. The agency carries out general directive and policy of the state government on development, maintenance, management of parks, recreation center, garden and playground across the seas, as well as upgrading to a world class standard the current infrastructure in the state parks and garden. This year, three planting exercises, as usual, is taking place simultaneously in several locations across the states. Members of the National State Assembly, Royal Fathers, Captain of Industry, Religious Leaders, Member of Educational State Institution, from primary to tertiary level, Trade Union Group, Transport Union, Market Union, and men, as well as media organizations, have been mobilized to put to be part of this great event. It is not what it is not worthy to state that our children in the nursery primary secondary level have a significant level have to a significant level be converted between the ongoing revolution on environmental re-engineering re in appreciation in, um, environmental re-engineering in, in appreciation, appreciation of, of the children importance the documentary of the importance of the three has been put together by last part that is a minister of education using put tools in our schools your excellency ladies and gentlemen you have to clear your bunker tree planting and natural technique for easy ease of tree planting by our people and also as a form of enlightenment. And I just seize this opportunity of this occasion to call along the Goshen to join other cities of the world in planting trees today and always in order to further protect and beautify our dear states. Train bring peace and sustain healthy life to our homes and offices. And we are happy with the obvious effect of what we have so far achieved. I thank you all for joining the process to advance the daily program of the states of Lagos. Now we want to listen to the keynote address of the Excellency Governor Babatunde Rajpashala S.A.H.E. It will be read by Right Honorable Abayo of the former speaker of Lagos State House of the State. Having said this, we chairman. Vice Chairman, the FGA Chairman, the Repet members, all the your legends, the Green Club members, you are all welcome to this year. 2013 free planting. Permit me if I forget to mention your baby or call you during the protocol. So I say, ladies and gentlemen, from taking the shade under the trees to reveling in aesthetics daily, we take from trees in the ways that we do not fully realize. We are here today to give back to the environment in one of the few ways that we can, and I thank the people of Labor State for keeping faith with us since we began the crusade to regenerate the environment by planting trees. The theme of this year's uh, campaign is home 
is a threat to the survival of the all creation that depend on oxygen. We need trees to absorb carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to prevent us from suffocating. It is no coincidence that green leaves are often used to signify peace internal peace begin with the well-being of individuals to which green holds the earth and we know that the absence of internal peace breeds aggression towards neighbor creating several ripple effects that undermine peace and peaceful coexistence a hungry man, the same goes, is an angry man. Trees are germane to human existence. They are a direct and indirect source of food for man and animal. The absence of green results in vegetal degradation, impoverished ecosystem, and uh, decreased biological productivity that lead to food shortage, ill health, and low, and low per capita income, all situations we want to avoid in Lagos. We can see the negative effect of desert encroachment on northern Nigeria already. It is ravaging eleven of the nineteen northern states and rendering the land bare. The lack of sufficient vegetation in some parts has been fingered as the major cause of the several clashes between Fulani Earthmen and native crop growing growers. The loss of arable land compares axmen to search for a greener pasture, and this creates conflict between them and farmers because their animals invariably graze on cultivated farmlands. When we launched the tree planting exercise in 2008, our aim was to plant one million trees in 10 years. Today, I am proud to announce that we have successfully planted over four million trees in just six years. We did, we did, we did not do it alone. This achievement was made possible because the people of the state embraced the tree planting initiative. Today, I want to let you know that we will not relent. We will continue to our environment, our heritage, and our collective property is restored to its glorious state. The tree planting exercise was designed with the sole aim of awakening the, conscious, the consciousness of Lagos and the larger Nigerian public on the unique role trees and other plants our communities play in making our environment conducive for human habitation and to encourage everybody to plant and protect trees. It is gratifying to note that other states, like Ogun State, 
and loyal states have also keyed into this initiative. In Lagos State, the exercise has been a rewarding venture for us. Although we have not, be we have not begun to reap the long-term rewards of tree planting, we are already seeing the positive effects of planting more trees in the state. Because trees absorb rainfall and prevent flooding, Lagos was feared the heavy flooding that ravaged, that ravaged the nation last year. It was not by coincidence, it was the result of our collective efforts of preserving nature to prevent a rock. You will recall that on July 14, 2010, I wrote to my, in my address that an institutionalization of tree planting and green, greening through the use of law has received the blessing of the State House of Assembly with the imminent passage of the law establishing the parks and garden commission. I am proud to inform you that the institution, Lagos Parks and Garden Agency, is already up and, run, and running and indicating an indication that the Green Campaign will outlive this administration. The agency will ensure that the gains of the past experiences are not revived and that more mileage will be covered. Today, I implore everyone to be more committed to the tree planting campaign. Plant more trees, preserve existing ones, and resist anyone who attempts to fail trees Grow green, grow trees. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to flag off this year's tree planting campaign. Thank you for listening to Paul by Joe. For reading the keynote address of Excellency Governor Babatunde Raji Fashola. In his keynote address, he was able to tell us the importance, one of the importance of planting trees, which is to absorb carbon dioxide in the environment and to avoid suffocation and to have a green and peaceful coexisting in Lagos State. Also, one of the good news we had in the in the keynote address is that Lagos will also give it to our comrade Ayodele Adewale because he has also helped in planting trees. Please let's give it to him and give it to ourselves as well. And do I want to go to the planting of the trees? The next uh, item on the program is a tree planting exercise, a ceremonial tree planting. And we want to follow the order as I have on this paper. I humbly request that everybody should remain seated except those called upon to go to the area where the trees are to be planted. We have our APS leader who led the buy of the economy to please proceed to the field. Also, our own executive chairman, the Lord Mayor, Look at the camera Wait, 
Bam, bam, bam. Wait, wait, wait. You have to look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bend. Just bend as if you want to touch. Remove this. You want to see your eye. You see, you have to come up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,